welcome back to a full deco last week we started working with some wood boards and we used a small board to make this forest piece and today we will be using the larger board to make a holographic ocean and we had previously made a holographic ocean um, on wood canvas but I think it will look really really pretty with the the frame, we're going to spray paint this frame white and then do the ocean inside. So let's get started. This is our wood canvas. It's the same one we used in the previous Magical Force video, but the larger size one. We're using Rust-Oleum spray paint. This is their blossom white color. I shook the can off camera and now I'm spraying the wood canvas. I'm focusing on the edges and the sides since we're going to lay over a holographic film in the center. So it would kind of be a waste of spray paint if we sprayed the center as well. So right now the first coat has dried. It's been an hour or two and there are some spots that we could see that you could use a second coat. So we're going to spray a second coat to make sure this frame is completely white. The second coat of paint has dried and this is 24 hours later fully dried and it looks good to go. Now we are going to apply our holographic vinyl like a full sheet of sticker. We're using this blue holographic vinyl. It's the Vivid brand on Amazon. We're going to cut this to fit inside the frame and then we'll move on to the resining. I cut the sheet a little too wide, so I am using a box cutter to trim off the excess. You can use an X-Acto knife for this as well. It's pretty much the same thing. I just happen to have a box cutter on hand. Be sure to use a squeegee to really get the vinyl down. Any lifting on the vinyl will probably reveal the wood underneath and the hollow effect won't be all around. There's some bumpy texture from the wood and you can sand down the wood beforehand if you want to make it completely flat. I thought this looks great though to add some extra depth. Now we're ready to make some waves. Look at this pretty hollow effect from the vinyl. This is going to look so good. We are propping the wood canvas on some cups and now let's measure out our resin first. So we are going to use Totable Tabletop Resin. This is their coating resin and I get really good results on my ocean pieces using this resin. This is a 1 to 1 ratio resin, 1 part A and 1 part B, the resin and hardener. I am using a measuring cup also from Totable. It came in the package for my resins and I'm following the guidelines on the cups to measure out the two different parts. Now that both parts are measured out, we will mix them together with a plastic mixing stick. This is how slow I am mixing in real time. Then I will speed up the video to save us some time. You want to mix 
slow and steady to reduce the amount of bubbles in your mixture and mix for about three minutes so it's completely mixed. Using a plastic mixing stick and not a wooden popsicle stick helps a lot too because wood will introduce bubbles into your resin. These plastic mixing sticks are also reusable. Now our resin is fully mixed and we are going to split them up into three parts. We need a little bit of white and I'm using Casting Crafts Opaque White Pigment. And we need some sand and then we're going to leave the rest to be clear for our waves. First, we will lay down our sand and clear resin and we'll make sure the entire board is coated in resin. I thought the sand part could use some shells, so these are some shells that I got from Michaels and I'm just going to lay some down in the sand. Now we're ready to make some waves. I am using the mixing stick and the white mixture that we mixed up with the Casting Craft White Pigment and I drew several lines of white onto the board and now I'm using a heat gun to spread them out and make the waves. I find that several random lines of white adds more depth to the waves in just a single layer so that's why I did several lines. And you may not see the cells at first but give it some time and you'll notice it slowly pop up as I do the waves. This is what the first layer of waves turned out to look like. There are lots of pretty cells here, but we'll do a second layer to add some more depth into this. And in this layer, we will also be adding sea animals. These are vinyl sea animals that I cut with my Cricut and I have them in the holographic version too. But since this is holographic, like the blue holographic vinyl background, we are going to be using just plain black sea animals. And this, for this piece, I chose dolphins and I love doing the dolphins this way where they are swimming towards each other. I think it looks so magical. But now once we have our sea animals laid down, we will do the same thing pour our clear resin and then draw our lines of white, spread them out and make some waves.
For this layer, I felt like I added a little too much white, like too many lines of white pigments for this layer. So you'll see me messing around a little bit with the waves, taking out some white and, you know, using my heat gun to adjust it a little bit. So you can play around with your waves, but definitely be patient and don't overheat your resin as you make any adjustments to your piece. Now the piece has fully cured and this is the orientation that we want to drill our hanging hardware on. So we flip it over and we are using sawtooth hangers to hang up this ocean wall art. These sawtooth hangers I got from Amazon and it came with these screws. I am drilling in the screws with my black and darker drill and a matching uh, bit for the drill for the screws. With the ruler, I tried to measure out the middle of the board so I can make sure that the sawtooth hanger is in the middle. Here you see me moving down the hardware and it was a bad idea. You'll see why in a bit. So for my magical forest wall art piece, I had no problem drilling in the screws directly. I don't know why this one was giving me so much trouble, so I am going to use a drill bit and drill some holes where I mark the where the screws should be before I drill in the screws. And now it should be easier. Now the screws are in and I know why it was giving me so much trouble now. It was way too low and you can see it through the piece. Good thing I had filmed this part first so it still looks perfect as I show off our ocean wall art. This is in a shady setting and it looks like a normal ocean piece. The dolphins are peacefully swimming. The waves are feeling kind of chaotic though. We have the beautiful sand and the shells by the beach. I really love this white frame around this ocean piece though, it really completes it. Let's see those rainbows out in the sun now. Okay, so I'm actually a little bit upset that this didn't turn out the way I wanted to because of the drilling at the very last step, but that's okay. Let this be a lesson that we both learn and we don't do it again. We'll be more mindful next time when we drill into the piece. So this piece I will be keeping for myself and I hope you enjoyed making this with me. Despite the drilling, I did have a lot of fun making this. So I will definitely be making more and uploading them to the website whenever they're available. I do post um, new pieces on my Instagram and uh, shop updates on my Instagram at Deco. So check that out if you are ever wanting to piece yourself. And then don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see next in the comments. I'll see you next time.